The first lady, Aisha Buhari, wife of the president, has asked that there should be a total lockdown of the country to prevent further spread of the coronavirus. And in a bid to stop the spread of the virus, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has stated that the government will come up with strict measures against the virus. He also asked that Nigerians be ready for tougher times. Still with me, the studio is legal practitioner, Ivan Sufeli. Pleasure to have you still. Thank you. Lockdown. Our lockdown, are we closer to it? Yeah, I think we're very close to it. Uh, but um, the Minister for Information seems not to be getting it right with those statements. Uh, when you're saying that Nigerians should prepare for hard times, I mean, this, this virus is all over the world. And we've seen how countries all over the world are addressing the issue. There are countries that are giving stipends to citizens. Okay, and then the, the federal government ought to be thinking in that direction. When you say people should stay indoors, they need certain things. They are necessaries of life. They need to have sanitary materials. They need to have water. They need to have food and all that. So government should be able to provide that. That is how it is done all over the world. So you don't just come out and say that they should prepare for tough times. You are locking the economy, you are locking this, you are locking that. It's good to lock it, but the government must be able to address basic issues. There are persons, or there are citizens in the, uh, who cannot uh, feed until they go out, okay? They have daily income, they make their income on a daily basis. So if you stop them from going out, you must provide palliative measures. You must give them quality uh, assurance of uh, provisions, okay, that will sustain them for the number of days or weeks. Well, in, in, this, these, these are um, unprecedented times, as many have said, and uh, as it stands now, schools have been shut down. Yes. And one of the uh, position of the wife of the president that's making a whole lot of persons pause is her saying, why commending the governors for shutting down the schools? Where is that the parents are still allowed to go out to work? and then come back exposing their children and their family to the same virus that is, they are trying uh, to prevent. What do you say to that? Yeah, I think there's, there's logic. I mean, that, that is uh, understandable. It's very clear that um, you don't shut down schools and then the parents are out there interfacing with other persons, okay, and then bringing the same uh, issue back home. Is I know that we, if we have to lock down, is a necessary cause. Okay, but I'm saying, what is government input in this whole thing? Uh, is it just to lock down? Because if you lock down and people have no means to feed, they will still come out, defy the order, and then even make the situation worse. So what government could do is to make sure that they provide for the needy. Okay, they, I don't know how they are going to identify them. But it's their responsibility. You, you, you seem to think the that it's not... The situation and welfare of the people okay. shall be the primary purpose of government. That's the law. Okay. The government must look into these situations. Do you important. see uh, in the stage a situation where the government will have all this all prepped out and people will know how they are going to survive before we go towards a, sh a shutdown? Because as it stands, the state governor here in Lagos has already issued um, order that malls should be closed, markets should be closed, except those that are selling food and basic um, um, essentials for living. It's also ordered that organizations should consider um, reducing the number of persons that come uh, to their premises, including banks and all of that. So people would say we're inching towards a shutdown, and we might not be able to get, considering the dynamics, we might not be able to get everything at par before we go on a lockdown, the nature of the disease. Yes, I know, I know. We may not be able to get everything before we shut down, absolutely. But the government seems not to be given uh, uh, the full information or the, the, the government seems to be looking at the issue from one side, from the preventive measure, lockdown, don't move. But you know that humans by nature are adventurous because they must feed, okay? If for nothing, humans are adventurous to the extent that they must feed. So if they must feed, you cannot just be given the focus on shutdown. You should be given the focus that we have to shut down, but while we are shutting down, this and these are the provisions we have made to enable you feed. 
this and these are the provisions we have made to enable you yeah, have so necessities. Yeah, so you said the markets, uh, as much as it's being shut down, uh, food markets will no, still that, be that, That's not what I'm saying. You can do that when you have, that's for those who have money. Money, okay. There are those who make their living on daily basis. They get money when they go out to work. So if you ask them not to go out to work, and you are saying the markets are open for them, you're asking them to go and steal at the market, not to go and exchange or not to go and buy because they have no means when they are not working. So what you would do is say for those who earn their living on daily basis, who earn money on daily basis, at social point and at social center, okay, you have to get relief materials to enable you keep on with the indoor or the whatever it is. Or if government is going to send funds to them, they should identify them, get their account numbers, and do that. It's important. We, we live in this country as 200 safe. million people. Yeah, you, you, no, no, not 200 million people. It's not everybody. Okay. It's not everybody. I mean, it's not the entire. So how how, how do not, we work that's what that I said, I, said, I said that the constitution says that the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. It is government responsibility to identify the... How? the the demographics, the dynamics, the population, the, because you see, we, we don't even have social security system. We don't have social support system. And that is our biggest problem. But we can begin to do something now. We can have the records. Let's, let's use what we have now. Let the government think. What, 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 what about solution. people that are arguing? I read a piece earlier today um, about um, using one size fits all approach to addressing this pandemic. It, it was on a, a website a conversation or something. Um, uh, the person is saying that a lockdown might not actually work mm -hmm. in the African setting because of some of these dynamics uh, you have highlighted. If a lockdown is not something we should be considering, or you know, there's so much against it, what other alternative would we be exploring to keep the people safe? Because you, you said the primary responsibility of the government is to ensure that the people are safe and well provided for. Yeah, what other alternative? In this circumstance, the virus spread when people cluster, when people go out, okay? And when they go out, they go back home and then they infect and all that. So the, the lockdown is a necessary condition. In the UK now, there's a lockdown, yeah. complete lockdown, okay? Now, the government is providing palliatives for the people, okay, and all that. So, in this instance, the lockdown is necessary. I'm not saying we shouldn't lock down. We should lock down. There are no alternatives to this lockdown as far as this, this disease is concerned. We should lock down. But while we lock down, government must open channels for provisions. It's government's responsibility to do that. It's not as if they are going to do anybody any favor or whatsoever. It is their primary responsibility. Okay, their primary responsibility is not to be fighting one political party and the other and be fighting one governor and the other. That is not their responsibility at all. Their responsibility is to take care of the people, security and the welfare of the people. And if that cannot be done, if they cannot provide that, it means they have failed in their response, in their primary responsibility. Okay, so. let, let's deviate a little and talk about the tougher measures that Lai Mohammed um, um, was um, alluding to. He talked about he's in the military to enforce orders and to, you know, get people who are trying to sabotage government efforts. Uh, first off, let's speak on that. Um, it, do you think that that will be necessary? Because you, you said it yourself that we are people. We are people who like to. We're adventurers. So we might have trouble sitting back at home. You see, the only, the only point where people have problems sitting back at home... When they have nothing to is eat. ...is when supplies are cut off. There are people, there are certain persons who want to be on alcohol, some persons want to be on food, some people want to be on different kind of things, according to their way of life, okay? This is the time for them to cut down on the, their excesses. But at the same time, you cannot say they have to cut down completely from you know, access to provisions. Mm -hmm. So if that order will work, if they're using the military, using the police to, to enforce compliance, if it will ever work, it will also mean that the government must open channels for provision. And that provision must come directly from government. I would suggest rather that the government use the police, the soldier and everything to supply necessaries 
to the people and not to use them to clamp down the people or because it has always been the language of the Nigerian government to use force, to use coercion, to use different kind of against the citizen. Okay, when citizens are expressing themselves freely according to the constitution, they use the military against them. When government comes in, when people want to exercise their fundamental rights, they come up with bills to shut them down. This time around, it has to do with feeding. You know? It's not uh, uh, freedom of expression, which is a luxury. I mean, freedom of expression is when you even have thoughts and whatever, when you have eaten, that you want to talk. This one was saying that food is critical. Government must look at it, provide for the first time, provide food for Nigerians who must stay at home in order not to spread the disease. They must do that. If they don't do that, if you use the soldier, use everybody, use all the forces, people will come out. I, I'm just telling you, people will come out because you cannot, you can't ask them not to feed. They when will come out. Are. Okay, so, so, so what, um, what measures aside, ha, let, let's look at the time frame. We had just one, two case for yes. about a week or two. And then in the space of less than four, five days, our numbers have increased to more than 40 as it stands at the moment. With the rate of this increase, um, you do agree that the government cannot put everything in place. At what point in time do you think a lockdown will become the only solution? It should be now. It, the reason we see having the spread is because of the, the fact that people are still clustering. You know, if you go out, I mean, we have the highest number of cases in Lagos. If you look at the BRT bus, you look at the people in the, on the bus, in the bus stops, how they, you know, uh, oh, know. exchange body fluid. I mean, people are not really washing their hands. Uh, there are some persons who also, you know, the sub-middle class and the unskilled and uneducated in Nigeria, they are very difficult to uh, contain. They have their own resolves. Yeah, there's yeah. some who still see it as a hoax. Yeah, they said it's a hoax that is a scam and all that. I mean, they have their own resolve. So they have a unidirectional thinking pattern, you know, which is peculiar to terrorists. We, we must be able to inject in them the information, the knowledge, and the risk of this, that this is an existential crisis. They must be able to come to terms with the truth and coming to terms with the truth will mean that they must be able to take all the measures required to wash their hands, to use hand sanitizers, and then to you know, keep the environment clean and all that. But ultimately, government must do something about it. Because as we speak now, government have only made provision for, center for, for, for testing, five centers to test, and then uh, two free lines by the institution to get across. Government have not contributed directly to seeing that the people are at home other than issuing an order. Uh, they should go beyond issuing an order. Why citizens try to help one another, sending money to family members and all that, government must, as a matter of necessity, step into this arena of provision. It hap it, that is how it is done. This is a war. In terms of war, government must provide food for the people. And that is exactly what we are talking about, that the government must do something about They should not uh, just leave the citizens to their fate. It is their responsibility to do so. Right. Yes. All right. Thank you very much for your thoughts on the program thank tonight. You. Yes, thank you. Right. We'll take a plus report now. And when we return, I'll be giving my take. The Edo State Government has tasked religious leaders to form a partnership with the state government aimed at containing the spread of coronavirus. The state governor, Gordon Obaseki, met with religious leaders in Benin City, the state capital, urging them to educate their members. Like I said, there is no plan to shut down places of worship, except it becomes absolutely necessary. However, we will want to appeal that for the sake of your congregation, we should look at how to adopt, and particularly in, for Christians this Lenten period, it's a time when people slow down, the time when people are more reflective, ways on how to keep people away from being too close to one another. Well, now, we don't have much here, 
So let us not practice social distancing in our churches to reduce the number of people that will attend masses or stations of the cross or go to mosque for now. When the time comes, if there are cases, if there are, then we can take proper action. You know, you, it's left to you to monitor things and see how things go. But if we practice social distances, total distancing and work on enlightenment, I think things will go on. The best way we can fight this deadly virus, the best way is for us again to go back and talk to God because we are offended God. Not those of us here, but in all over. That is why such calamity is happening. When such calamitous uh, diseases is arranged in the society, then you should understand that God is not happy. Unless there is a slowdown or something changes with the number of persons testing positive for COVID-19 almost on a daily basis, a lockdown for me is very likely. Lagos, like most states, have shut down schools and 70% of civil servants have been asked to work from home. Malls and markets are also being shut and government says enforcement will be done by security officials. There are understandably many worries why a lockdown should be a very last option. However, I want to state that these are unprecedented circumstances and require unprecedented measures. This is not a time to panic or flex muscles or try to prove any point. This is the time to comply as much as possible to directives from government and health authorities and stay at home as much as possible. We will deal with a fallout. For me, life fast. I hope that it is for you too. We're back again tomorrow. Until then, please stay informed and be well.